Eric Davis with your first alert forecast. All right, it's a weekend activity outlook. We are always happy to show you because remember our scale green equals nearly perfect. Yellow, some concerns and red, uh, not ideal. We don't have any yellow or, or, uh, or red on this map. It is all green for this week and really nearly a perfect forecast for both Saturday and Sunday. Even the temperatures really aren't going to be all that hot. In fact, tomorrow's high is very similar to what we saw today, maybe just a degree or two warmer, and then we'll probably jump up into the upper 70s likely for highs as we head into Sunday. But chances of showers, minimal. It's a very small chance of a stray shower tomorrow, but certainly don't cancel your plans by any stretch. Gardening outside, great weather for outdoor works. It's not going to be all that hot. Again, a small chance of a stray shower maybe uh, tomorrow afternoon, but that should be about it. If you're out and about running air nice for outdoor shopping or if you want to have lunch outside, maybe you want to have lunch along the river walk or maybe outside uh, one of the restaurants at the Mayfair should be gr great for that. Uh, exercising. I mean, even even here, it's not going to be terribly hot. So uh, that's going to change, by the way, as we head into next week. We're going to see both temperatures and humidity levels climb next week. But exercising outdoors this weekend is going to be great. Grilling, bon appetit and boating outside. A little bit of a light chop offshore, but overall, Pretty good boating conditions on both uh, Saturday and Sunday. All right, tomorrow, mostly to partly sunny skies, 74 the highs, a very small chance of a stray shower during the afternoon hours. You can see a little bit of an uptick in the cloud cover here as we head towards tomorrow afternoon. But remember, 50s early in the day, mid 70s likely as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Take a look at a couple of our cameras right now. It's all blue skies, but of course, with winds coming off the ocean out of the east, it's not terribly warm outside. Uh, high, high in Wilmington so far, 73 degrees, and we have uh, sunny skies also in Whiteville as we take a look at the train depot. Nothing doing on the first floor. Digital Doppler is completely quiet over southeastern North Carolina. As we take a look, there actually are some showers, a little system kind of passing off to our west. I don't think any of this shower activity, though, is going to make its way into our area. And temperatures at this hour, 72 in Wilmington, 73 degrees in Ross. A little bit cooler. We have some clouds and showers in the western part of the state, 67 Charlotte, and then generally into the 50s now over in the mountains. Uh, Wilmington's temperature is about the same as it was 24 hours ago, but you see a pretty sharp drop off as you get over towards Charlotte. And look at that, 17 degrees cooler in Asheville than 24 hours ago. Boone also 17 degrees cooler. Hour by hour forecast model, that wind continues to be out of the northeast here for the rest of tonight. And tomorrow morning when you wake up, you should start off in the upper 50s. We'll see mostly sunny skies initially. And then again, just a little bit of green here indicating a couple of stray light showers. That's about the only rain we're going to see for the entire weekend. Highs in the lower and middle 70s. And then by Sunday, more sunshine in the forecast, and that should boost our highs into the upper 70s, and we should be talking about highs in the 80s as we get into next week. So 74 for tomorrow, 78 your high on Sunday, and there are your 80s starting to show up by Monday. We're talking mid-80s Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, chance of some isolated thunderstorms towards the end of next week. We think we're still in overall pretty good shape for Highway 6, but it does look like towards the end of next week uh, we will have at least a chance of some isolated showers and thunderstorms back in the mix. Well, let's hope they are very isolated <laughs> on Friday because we're going to Wallace for yes. the Carolina Strawberry Festival. Do our best to keep the uh, storms away. Of course, by that time, it's probably going to be extremely dry. We'll probably be begging for some rain. Well, because this weekend looks like it's absolutely fabulous. And most of next week, completely dry, too. All right. Thanks so much. There's a growing call from restaurants and environmental groups in our area. 